Hi everyone, and this is size 16 jig hook, and the bead I'm using this is a tungsten 2.8 millimeter copper bead. And first, I'm using number 12 Glow Bright, which is fluorescent green. Just uh, add some tug and uh, work with the body. So need a little bit, little bit thick body. So this is why. So if you go all the way down and just stop before the bend for the tail, this is dyed yellow coca -Co. So if you take a pinch, make sure you don't put too much. Just take your time. Just a bit longer than body. Just go around the bend because you know these things swim upside down. So the tail should be kind of, you know, when you put it like this, they swim like this, so tail should be lifted up. And uh, <coughs> It's come all the way up. I'm just going to cut this just about a little bit shorter and then touch and turn and cover all the material. Unwind your thread. I'm not going too close to the bead because I need a little space there. And if you can see any uneven surface, just work with it. Now basically, take your time again. I think that should be okay because I'm going to come back to that again actually. Go back here and then leave a little tug in here body this is a yellow dyed yellow peacock feather now you need to get the feather very close to the eye because they've got one side as you can see this got fluff on it and one side is completely empty you know so if you could just get this make sure the fluff side facing towards the bend so that way we can have a nice segment and just keep going all the way and then I'm going to finish with this thread because I need thin thread on the head so I'm going to use a block just uh, Now the black thread is 8 o. Just start with the very close to the eye, a bead, sorry, and take it away. It's entirely up to you to use a super glue on the body. So I will use a little bit, you know, very, very thin coat because we don't want to kind of mess up the body you know suppose if you realize you put too much just kind of wipe it off and then get your huckle plier and now here you have to be very careful and take your time with this you know and just bring that around and make sure you can use a touch and turn or you can leave, leave a gap entirely up to you and gently just take your time and keep coming up all the way all the way 
and all that's enough. And just change your hand and catch it very gently. You turn to secure it. Okay. And I'm gonna cut this extra piece off, but make sure you don't touch right, the body. So this one is dried. So I'm gonna wax the thread and dubbing you need to put tiny dubbing this is a sooty olive black and rusty brown synthetic dubbing mix so i'm just gonna go towards the body add a tiny amount don't go too close to the Bean. Okay, uh, the next material I'm using, this is a dyed partridge. This is a dyed yellow actually. So, just a few fiber, if you can just cut them in the this tool. And uh, what you have to do is open the thread. Catch it in the thread actually. Uh, take your time again. you have to do is cut them very close to the edge you know so very gently take your time don't let it go until you get to the really close to the edge and then give it a little spin and just hold it there and spin your bobbin Keep spinning until they scale properly. They should be okay. Now don't put too much tension on the thread. And then come close to the hook and then stroke them on side very gently. Again, no tension. And if you could just, just keep on going, but take your time gently, you know, nice and steady. That should be okay. And then unwind your thread. to do is put a tiny bit of varnish on the thread not too much very close and then give a couple of turn and then we finish So there we have another quill jig. Great part in forever. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.